it was just a moment that you and I just happened to be talking about. Mm -hmm. And I remembered that, I'm going to be honest with you, Matt. I didn't even remember the match until you brought it up. Well, neither did Big T. He didn't remember what he was supposed to do. Well, no, 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 no. He, that was in the match. I just remember. It was funny, but it was not a jab at anyone. It was just one of the fun. If you remember that video and me telling it, I said, those are some of the things that happen in professional wrestling. We've all forgotten spots in professional wrestling many times. I don't know how many times I've been in a match and you go, man, I just went blank. It can happen. That's the professional wrestling business. Right. And that's why when you and I are working together, if we were working together in a match, it can happen to you, it can happen to me. But we've gone over everything. And one spot you can do, I will ask you, Matt, what is the next spot? I'm lost. And you would tell me it's the drop down, leapfrog, drop kick. Okay, I remember now. It all came back to me. It's just like an actor in a play. He's on stage. And all of a sudden, he forgets his lines. Right. That happens. Yeah. It happened to me. It happened to me when I used to be in plays in high school. Mm -hmm. It's happened. That's how the human mind works. Now, I don't understand why the Bleacher Report would make it into some kind of big deal. Can you tell me that? I mean, well, we, I mean, we've talked about before how the media twists things and how they create narratives yeah. um, so that they can either sensationalize something to make a story, right. create a beef, or create some sort of wedge um, between two people or multiple people because it's in their best interest. Because if, you know, for, first of all, the whole reason why uh, Big T or Ahmed Johnson, depending on, on how you know him, was talking about it is because it got back to him. Right. Um, because of the amount of fans who listened and watched the clip. And then Bleach Report said, well, hell, let's do a story on this because we'd like to get some clicks out of it. And maybe they'll talk about it after we report on it. And that's exactly what we're doing, right. actually. But there's no there's no malice or malcontent no, at all that's meant by that. I mean, if anything, no. it's, it's, it's hilarious. I mean, it's, we, we poke fun at each other all the time. The thing is this. I don't know if you heard what Ahmed said. I didn't. Well, what he said was, and he told us to the Bleacher Report, um, that he knew that at that time WCW was getting ready to give my brother a push. So he purposely sabotaged the match and act as though he didn't remember everything. <laughs> he really said that? Yes. This well, is what... Um, well, that doesn't make him sound any better. If anything, it makes him sound well, worse. Well, in all, with all due respect, um, if you try to sabotage someone's push, which at the time, that was not true, what does that say about the worker in the business? Right. Then you cannot complain about anything that has ever happened to you. Said that. Yes. If you maliciously went out of your way and purposely tried to make somebody look bad in the ring. But do you think that that would, do, honestly, do you really think that that was his intention and, and that that's the reality or this is just something that he's saying now because he would rather say that than, than look or be perceived uh, as, as a foolish worker for forgetting his spots and what he was supposed to do in the match? I'm just going by what he said. Okay. That's all I can go by. But if that's true, you just disrespected the business. If you see what I'm saying. Right, and the if person, person you're working with. about anything that's happened to him in this business, then you just lowered yourself to the same standard. Why would he intentionally try and sabotage the match? I that's mean, my, what's, what, what's, the, back, what's the back story there? But the thing is, in the wrestling business, in the wrestling business, you are judged by your character. And if your character is that I will do something to try to keep somebody else from getting a push, then that's saying that you never deserved one ever. So how can you ask somebody to lay their self down on the line to advance your career and you weren't willing to do it for someone else? Right. If you see, that's the no, thing I do. That, I do see what you're saying. Yeah, that's the thing in this wrestling business that people don't get. You got to respect the business. 
Now, certain individuals might not respect you, but as many things as you heard me talk about, you've never heard me say I disrespect the business. No. You know why? Like I tell some of these people out there that's commenting in internet land, I love the fucking wrestling business. I might not have loved a lot of people in the wrestling business, but even when I was in the ring with people I didn't give a shit about, I did my job. If it was for me to put them over, I put them over. Because I would expect for them to do the exact same for me.